Good morning, sir. So far, I'm late, brother. No, you're good. Like, I literally just like threw a random time out just to get out here. How was your, uh, how was your morning was so good, far? Man. It was good. Uh, yeah. yeah. Have you been to Mount Baldy Lodge before? I, I have. Um, you have. Ironically, last time I was there, it was wild back then. Yeah. I was there with a, uh, another buddy of mine, Dave. Oh snap! Um, but it it, it it was a while back. Man. He, and was it like a sport bike? Did you ride out there? No. Well, um. Actually, you know what? You're yeah. It was. I was on the sports bike, but it was um. Yeah, that was like last year, dude. Mm -hmm. Well, the yellow bike. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you went out there for what breakfast like around this time no, too, or was it just like middle of the day? For a cruise. Yeah, just chill out for a little bit. Actually, ah. We ended up having breakfast. Yeah, but yeah, it's crazy. I've been there a couple of times yeah. purely because of either a hike, camping, or just going up there to the mountains yeah. and stuff. But uh, never seen the. Never actually like cruised up there. So yeah, it's a um, good ride, man. It's funny. A lot of people know it for the cruise. I just know it for the food and like camping. But yeah, I'd yeah. like to take yeah. my bike up there. Yeah, that's cool, man. Nice. So, uh, yeah, it's just us two boys today. And, yeah, let me just uh, grab a jacket. It's a little nippy. Not Wait, too bad. Thinking the fit, bro. Thank you, sir. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> My, my bad if I was going kind of slow, man. I was just freaking. After a while, I was like, damn. I mean, you know, I, to be honest with you, after a while, I didn't feel like any, anything anyway. So I was like, I'll forget it. I'm just, I'm just cruising. Yeah, yeah. Cause like, I don't know. I don't go. I don't. I don't know. I don't redline this thing. Like, I think I'm pushing it, and then I go back to times where I see Mark on his 883. Yeah. And he was pinging way past me. I'm like, how? I guess like I just underestimate how high these things could rev. I don't know if it's just a mental thing, but like I agree. I'm over here like the whole time. I'm like, this is a bit much. I could go more, but yeah. But even then, man, I, that and I think the average speed of like cars these yeah. days on the highway in SoCal is like 90, dude. Yeah. yeah. So. For sure. Well, I think, I think right when we were getting, we were on the 91. 
I think it was yeah. more where I actually pulled away so, yeah. and I could feel it and I'm like, oh wow, still got a little more juice. I, I was surprised that it had a little more juice to the wine. So, oh, yeah. Got a little more pull. I forget how like high these things can rev. I mean, I don't have a speedo, but I'd like to hear from people yeah, yeah, yeah. who actually have like 1200s, 40s that are like, oh yeah, they can go up to X amount. I know we had to uh, yeah, man. Well, we're just gonna get some gas and just make our way up and have some breakfast. Hey, I'm not crazy, right? It feels a little cold. It does. Yeah, and we're heading up there, dude. I, I kept looking at that. Like, yeah, yeah. We're, the yeah. We're, we're getting right before it starts snowing. <laughs>
Let's shimmy on in, brother. Yeah, man. Warm up a little bit, brother. Oh, yeah. Warm up a lot. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Sorry, I don't don't mind the camera, but like I'm just saying, like a lot of the combo we are having right now off cam, I'm like fudge. Like people need to hear this. To your point, customization and personal personality are a big part of. I don't know, like what? Because we're speaking more on the fact that you said Kevin had called Harley yeah. to for a problem on his choke or like the idol, yeah, on the car, yeah. and he called Harley Davidson, and when he told them the year of the bike, they yeah. completely said no, we don't. We don't yeah, yeah, we're not. Those. We can't serve. Yeah, we don't do those bikes. Anymore. Yeah. So I think, that, like I said, I think we we're talking about before the disheartening part is you figure it's like kind of like a car dealership where anything Harley, okay, yeah, sure, we want to want to help you out. Yeah. But that's not the case. It's like uh, so now I'm going to separate. Okay, not only am I, I'm my, I'm only a Harley Davidson mechanic, but I'm only going to do certain years too. Like yeah, I don't, anything, you know? I don't like that either. Okay, that's why our sportsters are all you know carbon models and stuff like that. And I, I'm not going to have you repeat what you said. But I love the fact that you're speaking on the lines. Like, you don't build, you don't weld, you don't yeah. do all that crazy stuff, but you enjoy customizing what right. you're able to, right. fixing right. the bike accordingly, like you right. said, and yeah, certain plans, you know, longer on the front end, different right. tank, and give it your own personality. Right. That's something a lot of these newer bikes can't really do without breaking the bank. Right. I think the sporties are for the working man, yeah. you know, working class. Yeah, man. Would you say the vast majority of bikes that are built now for Harley are more for the, uh, hey, I don't want to customize. I'm gonna buy it as is and I'm gonna ride it as is. You know what I mean? I think the writing to the people that get the newer bikes, I think writing to them is more of a I wouldn't call it a hobby, but like okay, to us I believe it's an outlet. Right. It's not a hobby. Right. An outlet, someone could Google the definition of outlet, but having a motorcycle is an outlet only because it's part of our lives, right? You can have a brand new bike. What's left to do other than plan a ride, right? That's it. And that's fine. That's why it's a hobby. But when it's an outlet to you, it's like us, the older bikes, the outlet is, oh, what can I change? Or, hey, can I come by today? I want to swap my headlight out. Or, oh, I'm going to change my fork. Right, right, right. This thing's making a noise. Let's open it up. So it doesn't feel like a hobby. It's more of an outlet because we get to use our hands and our brains and keep these things moving to where wherever we go, whether it's a five-minute drive or five-mile drive, whatever, it felt rewarding yeah. to one of the newer bike guys. What are they left with other than a Sunday ride? Yeah, the, the, the stock, so the, like when I first got my bike, totally stock. Other than the engine and the frame, I didn't want anything else on that. So like, what happens? You know, I started with like the handlebars up, oh, those are gone, the seat's gone, you know? I'm pulling off, I'm gonna check off the, the windshield that was on the mirrors and I'm gonna put on, you know, a sissy bar. You know, so it just started slowly, you know. I already knew in my head what I wanted to do, but it wasn't the stock, you know. So I kind of translated that to the bikes now, like, okay. So you're trying to tell me that the bikes that Harley sells now, all the new ones, are exactly what everybody wants. And it's not, you know what I mean? It's not, yeah. well, at least not for me. Like, and, and that's, that would, I would say they're okay by that. Sure, sure, sure. If they could still answer a diehard Harley guy's questions about a carbureted Harley over the phone. I, I understand Mon Pa shops need to stay around yeah. and keep that art alive. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you'd think Harley mother effing Davidson, 120 year anniversary, Harley, could answer your question about a carbureted CV, or a carbureted uh, Evo motor. Yeah. But they turn you down and like, you can't. Yeah. So some people that might not know other shops and stuff like that feel like they have to fall into the freaking payments of a brand new. Right, right, right. right. And, and that is not to say that Harley puts out a terrible product because they don't. They, you know, I, I love the newer bikes. They look yeah. really cool. You know, I mean, I'm sure performance wise, they're on point. I kind of like the whole classic idea. And these days, a classic now is like a, a 90s bike, yes. 90s generation bike. I'm not saying we have to go back to points of condensers right, and 60s right, right, models. Right, right. And it's crazy to say we can't even afford them because, well, like, you know, you get older vintage Harley Big Twin, you're looking at like four grand for the motor, no paperwork, sure. you know? Sure. We're getting, we're talking three grand for a running bike. Yeah. Uh, sportsters, yeah. So. yeah. I, you, I think you said best when you said that the Sportster was the, the poor man's customized bike. You know what I mean? Yeah. It really is like that. You it know? is. Like, I, I mean, I can honestly say that, you know, yeah, sure, it might only be a Sportster, but it's my vision of what I want my bike to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's my favorite part. Yes. You know? I mean, dude, 
And even down to the ride up right now, not to repeat our combo or whatever, the ride up right now was, I mean, we could feel our motor struggling. Sure, sure. We made it up here. Yeah. And it's kind of like a woo, we made it. Yeah. We enjoy this coffee. Yeah. And, um, some people aren't willing to even find that out. They yeah. just think like, oh, I'll get a bigger bike. Yeah. They'll never know what it's like to really feel every CC. Yeah. You know? We're squeezed it all out. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's probably the, the appeal, you know, for the longer rides for me. <laughs> oh, I want to see if I can do my sports. I mean, I, mean, I already made it up to Pisbo one year, a couple years ago. Yeah. Made it to Pisbo. Uh, that was about fine. how many miles is that? I was like, uh, these, that's like maybe about a little under 250 miles from my dad. Yeah, and like for, for SoCal, that's, that's decent. I know there's other sure. people in other states that might be like, oh, I do like 5,000 in a day. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, because it takes 1,000 miles to get to your closest gas station, yeah, yeah. maybe, you know? But yeah. over here, it's all, everything's so close to us. So yeah. to ride that far for our own reasons, yeah. it's, it's yeah. recreational. Yeah. But I mean, the mere fact that I, my bike was able to handle it just fine and I was able to cruise just fine, that just enticed me more. Like, holy cow, like I can take this thing, you know? Yeah, man. I want to get every bit out of this bike. Oh, yeah. I mean, there are people that do their whole lives on these bikes. So yeah. I'm good with it. Yeah. I'm going to ride this thing until, until it dies. Well, it's like, you know. And then maybe rebuild. Yeah, that's right. Then rebuild. <laughs> I told him about that. I told him, hey, remember all the bikes that I use a lot as a car? He's like, what do you want right now? I remember, I said, I think this is 11. Yeah. And he's like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can choose what you want. And, and to think of, like, uh, <laughs> I think where you were mechanically inclined to the first bike yeah. up until this 11th yeah. bike of how much you're able to do without right. any help right. that's right. awesome bro like, and some here's a crazy thing people will be like oh like you know oh i want a weld i want to fabricate i want to build a motor and yeah. tear it apart and you know be yeah. chopper and all that stuff dude shoot for this oh, oh. No. no i we're good right maybe now. a little more coffee please appreciate that yeah um no, but to think about it, right? Everyone wants to, I want to chop and build and cut and weld, and that's great. Yeah. And some people try to take it all in one munch. Oh, Their sure. first bike, they cut it in half and they, they get stuck. And that's fine, dude. Like, some people learn differently. But it's slow and steady. I mean, bro, the, the progression from you from your first bike till your 11th and what yeah. you could do with it is insane. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's insane. Enjoy your bike. Will do, thanks. From you just learning how to ride until you now being able to swap out your pipes and drill yeah. out a bowl and yada yeah. yada yada that's big dude and some people might have grown up around it and yeah. they know like they started like that not us yeah. and that's why every win is a big win for us small ones are big wins for us well you know what's funny is like, and that's how I started I had to start small like you know I do so much research so much homework okay, yes. can I do this can I do this it doesn't look too difficult you know okay they give you all the tools that you need at least all the tools you need okay I need this I need this yeah. so really you kind of start off really slow like, I remember before it was a big deal just to even change my bars out yeah changing bars was, it yeah. felt daunting yeah but now yeah exactly it's easy to look at everything you see online and be like wow this guy cut and chopped his frame and added on oh I got I got some sorry yeah, thank you yeah it's easy for us to just look at everyone doing this crazy stuff and all these builders online everyone it's a highlight reel right yeah. to where how, most people are like damn I'm not doing that I'm a poser it's like no that's their life live it by your own means if, if changing handlebars is a big win then that's a big win yeah. to you put a badge on you know rock it that's how I feel Right. We don't do much to our bikes, but dude, we we get a big win out of it. Yeah. Maybe those guys that cut and weld and drop motors in that don't even feel the satisfaction right. we do. Nothing against them. I'm just saying, like, you know, don't ever feel like what we're doing or you're doing is not enough. Right. So right. I want this right. channel, I guess, and the videos that we put out to remind people, man. Like, dude, you write your own story. Right. Stay and like, I hate to. I mean, before we eat, because this yeah. food looks great. You can be unaffiliated from what you believe the norm is or right. what you believe everyone else is. Work on your own stuff and right. you know focus on your own circle and your own craft and dude every day will be like friday mm -hmm. amen <laughs> let's, let's I hear oh, thank you sir okay it's a little chill that is a pretty cool bike that's what that is that is, is that hard dang yes it is it is yeah 107 yeah but is that like uh wow that's a lot of motorcycles yeah. man we <laughs> But what, but what is what what is the stuff? Is that, is that That's a soft tail, but like I damn brother. It looks like it has a small little uh, like a thing on the uh, bottom. Fairing almost. Yeah. Like a damn, that's hard as fudge. That's Look fast. at his helmet. This is crazy. Wow, he's sick. Look at sick. the stance of the bike too. Like he must be, you know. That's maybe. mean, dude. Look at that mean old tire yeah. too. That paint is beautiful too. That's like a car tire, bro. That's crazy. Mm. 
Wow, what a freaking sick bike. Yeah, dude, this is freaking damn cool. Damn, with the freaking deep red swing arm and everything. And all the frame, too. For sure, like what, 2000? Bro, he got, it's a Screaming Eagle, it's a, uh, what's it called? So it's still an Evo, but it's a 110. This is bad. Uh, what's up with the scoop on the bottom, bro? Like, what is that? That's so, a, that's like a fairing almost, like a, um, fudge. People will actually correct me, but it's like what, um, it's like aerodynamics almost. Like, whatever oh, okay, wheel, okay. like, so, you know, whatever the wind picks up, uh, in the front end. Yeah. Instead of just blocking out the motor, like, tunnels it under. Mm -hmm. I could be making that up, but I believe that's what yeah, yeah. the purpose serves. But golly, cool. that is a freaking really cool. good looking bike. I like bike. the styling of the bike, bro. Jeez. Okay, this is exact, hard. What, is what do you say? 110. It's 110. a Screaming Eagle, so like they. 110. Uh, is, that, is that a. Like for this size bike, is that a pretty decent size? Engine? I mean, that's what I would hope this was, because, yeah. uh, what's his name? Uh, Anthony's 2016 uh, e, uh, Dyna is uh, 103. This is so 110 cool. pretty beef. Put it this way. This is an Evo, right? Yeah, yeah. Mark has an M8 on his newer bike. That thing's a 114. So he's not too bad off that, and it's an oh, Evo, wow. so. Hell yeah, action. nice. It's kind of cool too. I like, I like. Indian? Damn. Kind of cool too. I, like the style I don't want to even name what it is. I just know it's an Indian. I'm not going to make yeah, up yeah. my own it, model. It, this is pretty cool. I like the style. But style. yes, I like it. Someone will be like, oh, it's a bobber. I, yeah. I don't I don't know that. I don't want to say the wrong thing, but I like it. It's cool, dude. Damn, bro. Look at the exhaust, bro. Holy shit. Dude, look at the rotor. That's sick. Bro, what's that, dude? What's that bottom part of the... That's steezy, that's what that is. I have no idea. I like it a lot. That's cool, dude. Damn. All right. That's a, got the, yeah. Damn, they got a freaking... All right. Now over to our girl bike. That's right, that's right. <laughs> we got to cruise out of here fast, bro. So yeah, so no one sees out, us. <laughs> <laughs> so no one sees us pull out on these. I have a big twin somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Um, is the sun... Oh, there it is. Is the sun hitting? There we go. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, if not, then there'll be music playing over this, but uh, we're just cruising on the way down. It's a little chilly. It's nice though. I mean, um, no rush. It was a bit of a struggle. Oh, I won't call it a struggle, but you can feel the motor of these sports. just kind of like, you know, lugging out a little bit. You got to drop the gear going on the way up. But coming down, it's a breeze. So uh, we're going to go ahead and enjoy this cruise down. Irvin's right behind me. I'm going to take it slow and, you know, see where the day takes us. And watch out for these rocks. Yeah, this is nice. I like this. Hell yeah. Got to scan the road for rocks and stuff. Motherfucker. Yeah, so we pulled over here just, you know, 
quick photo op this is kind of cool but uh urban over here no front fender i forgot no front fender homie and i paid the price yeah up there there's some water from i don't know if it's runoff from the ice and snow oh, or whatever man. yeah but there's water and i slowed down just because i didn't want to slip and slide but i mean one thing that some people might not even remember about this bike is that it doesn't that it does have a front fender you know you think of a you know long longer front end sportster this style bike, no one runs a front fender, but I thought about it. And Urban's over here like, yeah, yeah me too. I have the prime example is if you don't have a front fender, <laughs> that's the suffer, that's the pain you suffer right there. Well, yeah, this is cool. Cool little shots right here. Get what we can. Maybe, maybe, hold up. Maybe I should just get the thumbnail now. Uh, I want, I think. That is kind of a nice Let's see, though. is this a thumbnail? I have to remember like where. Probably right here. Yeah, that's a good thumbnail. All right, I'll take some pictures and roll out. And I almost yeah. died over this freaking dinosaur tree. What is it? So we got our little. I think that just the time. Yeah. Breakfast is done. All the other bikes are, you know, kind of crammed up there. We're all yeah. Good, there was a lot of bikes. Hell yeah, dude. When we got there, there was none. Uh, we got our photos in. I mean, this is great. This is actually really great. I, I think we should just. I mean, not milk it, but I'm saying like we're already here, you yeah. know, but. Hell yeah, let me get a photo of you real quick, brother. Sick. But yeah, alright, well, um, let's make our way back down, and then once we're in, like, civilization, uh, we'll wing it, see where we want to go, I'll hit up the guys, see if they want to meet up. Hell yeah.